Lesson 1, Evaluation of Educational Technology and Its Current Application Sometimes, we do the wrong things for the right reasons. Objectives 1. Classify technologies based on their uses. 2. Analyze the different procedures in using specific technology in teaching, and 3. Relate educational technology in real life. Let us have an activity first as an introductory to our lesson for today. Here are the directions. The class will be divided into two groups. They are to guess the word being described by the pictures. At first, one picture will be shown up to three, similar to three chances if they can't depict the first two pictures, as a clue to the word. Each group has one chance to guess each picture. The fastest group to tell the word being described will receive the point. The winning group will receive plus 5 to the activity after the lesson discussion. Are you ready class? If yes, then, let's start. Here are the first three pictures. What is the word being described by these? If you answered preview, you got it right. Next. The answer is, time. Another. You're right. Size is the word. Okay, next. Very good. The word is color. Lastly. Exactly. The word is durability. Well done class. Now, the winning group will receive plus 5 as promised. Now, let's move to our discussion. The current educational landscape has changed significantly with the introduction of new technologies. In they the last have a couple of way years, people live, administrators work, of Slay and Learn colleges and Moreover, universities have these been preoccupied with the challenges of the laboratory and education during hard work and the way in which the university is with fast information of technology and learning in vast areas of study and, and, and other concern on the vast definition of the teacher in the higher education so as to be able to have the diversity of research and the ability to get more guidance and direction and all the concepts brought about by the technology technology Am I ready? Shall I do this? 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 Shall
Was there a special material is it going to compromise you more than you can a better position to be a better position? Why should I bring my lessons for you to steer us out of your mind? It's very difficult to make a very specific objective. Our lesson for today is a continuation of the previous lessons. The school will now have the procedure for bringing a specific technology. The teachers of the Rice Ed Trails will be asked to watch the description of the material that's being used, and they must be guided as to what to look for and what to listen to. In the material that One, is shown, previewing the principle in the application the of educational should very technology should the cater technology to the general the and specific objectives of the lesson. The teacher should know how to use the material he has chosen to use for the discussion. Another, this will be the testing ground for the teacher to determine whether if the material is working or not. With this step, it minimizes the preparation time of the teacher, making the discussion longer thereby increasing the chances of a successful teaching with the integration of technology. 2. Effective timing refers to the phase of the lesson where the technology can best be used. Not all materials are suited at different phases of the lesson. There are some cases that it will just cause a confusion. For an example, the teacher will discuss scientific calculators in which his students don't have any background knowledge or usage of it. Would it be productive? Certainly not. When the material is placed on the right timing, there will be an increased chance of efficient learning of the students. Use time wisely. 3. Tying experiences together refers to the connection or relatedness that should be built between and among experiences provided by various educational technology. How can I use this in real life? This is one question that is often asked by the students. We should make our students inculcate the importance of the material and the lesson being discussed. For an instance, the use of PowerPoint presentation. Students can do the same when presenting their report about something that is assigned to them by the teacher. Lastly, to review or follow up. Once you have followed the procedure, assess yourself and the materials you have used. Do those materials followed the procedure correctly? Did I miss something else? Did it became productive? If it became productive, continue doing so. If not, it's time to change things up. Anyways, our true goal is to make our students learn. Next, criteria in evaluating educational technology. Evaluation is an integral part of teaching. We, as teachers, need evaluation to assess whether if our students really learned, especially using technology in education. A creative teacher can structure his own techniques and tools for evaluating so as to be able to gather adequate feedback for the improvement of subsequent teaching. First, size, whether the material is projected or non-projected, size is a very important consideration. The teacher must make sure that the text or the picture is seen very clearly by the farthest pupils. To check whether if the size is adequate or not, you can post the visual aid on the wall to try it out. See the results and change the size if necessary. The teacher can also make use of the student's seating arrangement. Second, relevance. The content of the educational technology must be related to the learning task on hand and the maturity level and experience of the pupils or students. As mentioned a while ago, the learning will be reinforced if the student knows the value of the lesson being taught by the teacher. They may relate it on their own experience or may try doing so. As such, they apply what they learned. Third, color, adds life and attraction to the materials. Color can be both attractive and a distraction at the same time. Choose a color combination that is suited and is pleasing to the eyes so that it will cause the students to follow the discussion and not deterring their attention. Fourth, economy, are the materials and the time spent in preparing them worth their costs? Not all teachers are rich. We should minimize expenditures but we should also make sure that our materials lasts. We need to avoid using a material that will be used one time. Fifth, durability, refers to the length of time the material can be used over and over again. 
the material might be economical but can it be used for a longer periods of time? Will the material survive longer usage? If so, congratulations! You have a durable material. 6. Easy to handle. Is the technology light, easy to put up and manipulate? Can it be brought anywhere? Can it be stored for a long period of time and be retrieved easily as the needs arise? Lastly, novelty refers to the newness or uniqueness of the material. Have you seen or used the material somewhere in your past? Have you copied the idea or blended something for it with? The newness or uniqueness of the material might actually catch the attention of the students, since because it's new to them. This catching of attention will reinforce the discussion of the lesson. Now, can you recall our discussion? We have studied the procedure and using specific technology for teaching and the criteria in evaluating educational technology. This will be our foothold for our future role as educators so knowing all of these will give us an advantage. Okay, are you ready for an activity? Okay, here we go.